Is Bob, represented by this fork. And he did not get vaccinated against, let's say, a laboratory virus, measles. No, let's say COVID. COVID, yeah, COVID. COVID. And all these lunch or meats with too much ketchup are, are people who are vaccinated. And this is Sally. And she has, has COVID. And she, she and and when she let's say coughs at uh, this guy, he doesn't show any. He doesn't get COVID. And thus because doesn't. They are vaccinated. Yes. And thus, Bob does not get the virus, be, even though he's unvaccinated. It's because she has those people around him. Yeah, and he and which are barriers to protect him from the virus, even though he's not vaccinated. Okay. And what's that called? It's called? Called herd immunity. So that's why it is important that... That, that most people get vaccinated. At so least how many percent? 95 percent. Of so that people. Way, so that... So, so that way people who can't get vaccinated because they're too young, or because they have allergic reactions, or because they're... Or with they have to deal with... Autoimmune diseases, 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 diseases can be protected, even though they might not be vaccinated. Okay, that's so. It is very important to have people vaccinated, right? Yes. Now I understand. What's called herd herd, herd immunization. Okay. How about you? What can you say? I'm watching Blippi. You're watching Blippi while eating your breakfast. Okay. That's it for this morning. <laughs>